been reporting here, wooden reporting, and he's got his little bit of work here. And this is about back propagating with a single layer network. And it's virtually not even back propagating, it's so simple. But you can put it one hidden layer and it's not much worse. It's a tiny bit worse, but if you want to go more than that, it becomes something a little hectic but it's quite easily explainable but I don't know if you teach him what he even wants to teach us I don't even know if he even does so oh yeah and um, the use case is a secret the the uh, even like what and any test applications a secret I'm not going to tell you any more than just this equation here because this is just virtually useless for you to know but I'm just putting a bit of mass there like it's slightly more useful than PM but probably not anymore so like well what's the point of even telling people I don't even know well it is applicable it's, but if even if it even makes you a working neural network without hidden layers I'm not going to tell you that a single layer perceptron even works. Where do you store in it? Or oh, you store like you can store like so many dots here, so we've got one straight line between them. That's what you got. I could tell you something now that it does something else than that. It's far superior. But I'm not going to. And did I help the kids? No. At all. But that's but you know what they show you is that like when well, you get so many dots there, so many dots there with a straight line between them, like anything else couldn't do it. And that's all they fucking show you. That you get this linear classifier, it's just a straight line, how useless is that? But it actually turns out it's a bit more spilly baney than that. They can show you that linear classifier, but if they just leave it there without telling you more, they'll leave you in a little disbelief about it. And that's what happens with neural networks. They literally don't tell you fucking shit. So, but if you tell people, people understand what you say. So it's like the trees have ears, you know, kind of thing. So being a little loud mouth, especially if you're benefiting the goodness of yourself by telling everyone, yeah, that's a bit embarrassing. Considering what you're losing out of it. The goodness of yourself. Okay. So what have you got here? Like so what's the point in me half explaining things to you? I don't think you don't. I think that this must be a trick they put me through. And we do just help each other because it's, it's pointless for me not to help you. Because what's the point of just holding back? Why would I half teach something? Anyway, here's the PM. Just to show all the PM how to do maths properly. Even though it's not to do with you explaining things any better. But anyway, so we've got. But it's going to go, so how do I change this wave to correct the output to what I want? I change one wave and then the output gets closed. I, yeah, but I should, I could have to explain more about how it even freaking works. So I can show you how to tweak one wave, but I didn't really tell you fuck all other than that. <laughs> anyway, how to tweak one wave of a neural network uh, in like real mean styles which isn't helping anyone but anyway if you got weight plus weight at times input take weight times input take tab total output so we get that I'll do this thing guys and 
anatomy thing on that. If we want to see the anatomy, we can turn these confusing variables into one anatomy. So either so well that that's you know, if you want to fully anatomize it. We've got that. And that's um that's like uh you know, the difference in the output there. But if you write a D there then you know, I don't really understand it. Because then we need the, the anatomy of that. So what's this one? So you can see um there's two things happening here. There's this one and there's this one and this one equals him and this one equals him and what we've done is we put them in the same equation as like you know that's one that one take that because that one take that because I still haven't understood the concept of an equation here <laughs> which you probably need to do but the teachers don't really care because the kids don't really know all this shit especially the dads taught them before school and then they don't even need any of the teachers they just like know more than all the kids do already I mean, how about that one? they just send them to the school just to fucking torch the other children that didn't get their dad cheating them <laughs> gotta think about that one anyway so you know if this one equals the target that's the output we want and this one equals what it is now I can put them in the same equation together and this is like the, the input going through the way to making the output and see they both equal the same thing but if they equal the same thing why don't I just have one of them because yeah, you want to be like that then well there are different forms of explicity this one has multiple components and this one's a single component but that's not really well but that's kind of like before I've got the output and that's after I've computed it I suppose I never really thought about that though if you want to get down to the very axioms of things I know that you know unless the weight at is by itself on the left the computer will not compute it because it's not explicitly in the exact form it fucking needs so this, this, this is computational applicable maths you know it's all about getting the exact fucking equation that the computer can understand it no, I'm understand it. <coughs> so it's not really good being a teacher, mate. Like, it's really fucking dumb. Uh, you're better off just make like this is really dumb. So that's why PM's tough, man. Because if you actually want to help people, then it's kind of like I don't know, like it's like giving out cakes to people that have called you a dickhead. <laughs> So if you don't, yeah. So I never thought of that. It could be really nice to teach teacher. I'm gonna know Mark. He'll like helping you more. That makes sense. Anyhow, so we get that. I get that. They're both true. You just whack them together. That take that. Is that take that? And you can see that we just simplify off, and then you end up with this little one here after this cancel uh, what we did was we expanded that one out to get rid of the parenthesis and then something gets discovered under the rock and we go and then we discover that we don't need those other ones it's just the difference of the weights all you need and you're going to equal the difference divided by the input so I just Something that I can't see there because I'm so brain dead that it was simpler than that. You know? 
And if you can't think of something, you know, mass is good for working out simple things that you can't think of. And so this does something really deadly. Yeah. Well, it makes more than a linear class. Yeah, out. 